old slave. Pick more cotton. All men are created equal. If all men are created equal, what about slaves? Slaves were captured from Africa to fill labor shortage in the South. They worked on plantations for corn, wheat, cotton, and tobacco to support the Southern economy. Legislators did not want to address slavery directly because even if they thought it was a violation of liberty, they still wanted the southern economy to prosper. The peculiar institution is a necessary evil. The peculiar institution is a betrayal of liberty. is vital to the support of our southern agricultural economy. Without slavery, I don't know what I'd do. <gasps> Did someone say slavery? That topic shall not be discussed here. <clears throat> the peculiar institution of the South, that on the maintenance of which the very existence of the slaveholding states depends is pronounced to be sinful and odious in the of God and man, and this with a systematic design of rendering us hateful in the eyes of the world with a view to a general crusade us and our institutions. My name is Angelina Grimke. My father was a slave owner, but I and my sister are proponents of anti-slavery and women's rights. What did you do for the abolitionist movement? Well, first things first, I wrote letters to William Lloyd Garrison's The Liberator. Uh, let's see, I was a uh, part of the American Anti-Slavery Society. And uh, I, gave, I went to a lot of conventions about um, abolitionism. And I even spoke about uh, abolishing slavery in Philadelphia, and I was invited to uh, New York City to speak about it, too. My name is Sarah Grimke. When I was five years old, I saw a slave get whipped. From then on, I never thought of slavery the same way again. We converted to Quakerism, hoping that they'd accept our abolitionist beliefs, but that didn't work out so well. I wrote the Epistle to the Clergy of the Southern States, 
in hopes that my letter would be published in The Liberator by William Lloyd Garrison. So in 1836, I joined my sister in the American Anti-Slavery Society, where I felt I truly belonged. My name is David Walker. I wrote an appeal to colored citizens of the world. Its purpose was to unite blacks so that they could fight injustice and oppression. Work brought attention to the abuses and inequalities of slavery, even though for some reason, most people thought it was too extreme. Hello there. My name is William Lloyd Garrison. You may know me as the founder of the American Anti-Slavery Society, but really my most prominent role was in being an editor of the anti-slavery newspaper called The Liberator. I will speak passionately against slavery, and I will defend the rights of our black American citizens. I do not wish to think or speak or write with moderation. I am in earnest. I will not equivocate. I will not excuse. And I will not retreat a single inch. And I will be heard. My name is Frederick Douglass. After escaping slavery, I became a leader in the abolition movement. I also wrote the autobiography, Memoir, of the life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave. This became influential in supporting abolition. I'm Harriet Tubman. I'm a leader and conductor on the Underground Railroad. <laughs> no, not that kind of railroad, silly but more a passageway for slaves in the South to become free in the North. I have taken over 300 slaves to safety from the South, and as I was remarking to my friend Frederick Douglass recently, I never lost a single one of my passengers. Go. Oh. 